the magic of aged inventory and finding out how long a dealer has had a car is key to getting a good car deal. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. If you're interested in buying a car, you've probably considered several important tips and tricks for negotiating a good price. You may have very wisely binge watched several videos here on our channel. If you've been binge watching our videos, smart move right there. But what you may not have considered yet is how long a dealership has had a particular car for sale on their lot. If you're out car shopping in this difficult car market, you want to play the odds in your favor, right? You see, every dealership has some cars that are slower sellers and that have been for sale for longer than others. These cars are called aged units, and this phenomena can be true of both new and used cars. Each dealership defines aged inventory a bit differently, but 60 days is a very common industry benchmark to use. Even when a vehicle gets beyond 30 days, it raises some concerns for some dealers. Quite often, you can get a truly great deal if you buy an aged unit. You see, the dealer has to take out a loan for that vehicle to be there, and the longer it's there, the more they're likely to wheel and deal on it. The loan is commonly referred to as a dealership floor plan. A dealership floor plan loan is essentially a revolving line of credit, kind of like a credit card, you could say. The dealer can charge large purchases to the floor plan and then pay them off at the end of the month. Yeah. But when the end of the month comes and goes without certain models having sold, it creates problems for the dealers, and these are problems a savvy car buyer can exploit. A floor plan lets dealerships finance vehicles without fronting the cash. If a vehicle is sitting and not moving, it's not only tying up cash for the dealer because there are caps on this line of credit, but it's also filling a spot on the lot, preventing the dealer from bringing in additional inventory. If it's a new vehicle, it could even be holding up the dealer allotments for more new cars from their manufacturer. That's right. Being aware of time on the lot can be a good negotiating tool, and today we're explaining how you can figure it out and how you can use this information to help you get a better price on your next car. Here's how having this information can help. In general, as we've mentioned, car dealerships become more willing to drop prices when they've had a car for a while. The main reason for this is a bit obvious. When a dealership first gets a car, there's no reason to lower the prices if customers are immediately interested. Right. What dealer wants to drop prices if there's a lineup of customers to get it? Not many dealers do. If the car just got to the lot, even in a good market, you'll find a dealer rather stubbornly holding on to their price. But the longer a dealership has had a car without selling it, the less likely the dealership is to find an interested buyer, and they know it. There's no line of customers waiting for it. That's when dealers start to drop prices in order to help sell the car, and that's when you should swoop in and negotiate the best deal that you can. Now, just because the price is right doesn't mean the dealer won't try to still pack your car full of fees. So if you've missed it before, make sure you go back and get a refresher on our video titled 11 Fake Fees. Years after it was first published, it's just as relevant today as the day it went up. And it is still one of the top money-saving videos for car buyers on YouTube. Like this viewer, Renee Posh says, I used this information on a recent car purchase and saved $1,200. The finance manager was so flustered with me that he didn't offer the extended warranty or gap coverage. He wanted me out of his office. <laughs> to which Kevin responded, if the finance man was frustrated with you, you did well, my friend. That's right. If you piss off the finance man, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. Also, if your plan is to pay cash, make sure you go back and see this video. Don't say I'm paying cash at car dealers with none other than the amazing Elizabeth. This is another killer video we produced in which I interviewed Elizabeth. Like our viewer Carlos Suero says, Elizabeth and Kevin are doing us all a great service. I followed the tips in this video today to purchase a used Toyota Sienna at a dealership. I felt in control of the deal and saved around 4,500 bucks. By yeah. the time I got to the finance guy, he didn't even bring up adding anything else to the deal. <laughs> Not only did Carlos save 4,500 bucks, but he got through finance faster too. All right, so how do you figure out how long a dealer has had a car? There are a few different ways to figure out how long a dealership has had a car, as you might be surprised to learn that most of your options are actually free, and some come right from the dealer themselves. Funny, isn't it, that the dealer would provide this critical information <laughs> for you for free? The paperwork trail is the key to this one. Check to see when the car's paperwork was completed, which will indicate when it arrived at the dealer. You can do this by checking the title and other documents which show if the car has been sitting at the dealership for 60 days or more. If so, a good deal is yours for the taking, with a little good negotiating, of course. There's a couple ways you can get your hands on the information about time on the lot. 
A tool you can actually get free access to is the Carfax report. By this day, most dealers are more than willing to provide you with a Carfax report to show you a vehicle's history and whether it's been involved in any accidents or incidents. But accidents aren't all to a Carfax report. The Carfax report is also key to other pieces of important information. It displays when the vehicle in question was listed for sale. The listing date starts the calendar on the lot, and this information is on a Carfax report. This is information you can use to your advantage when negotiating the price, and quite often you can get a dealer to just give it to you if they don't already have it listed for free next to the vehicle listing right on their website. If you fail at getting the information from Carfax, then there's another tried and true method of figuring out how long a dealer has had a car. Watch through their inventory like many car buyers do. Mm -hmm. If you see a car listed on a dealer's auto trader inventory for more than a month or two, it's likely the dealer is slowly becoming more and more willing to lower the price. If you also see a just reduced notice on a vehicle listing, you can pretty much guarantee that happened due to it being aged inventory. If you've already tried both of these methods and aren't successful in determining how long a dealer's had a car, you can also send us the VIN and the miles and the trim level two to Kevin the Homework Guy at gmail.com and put age of inventory in the email title. I have direct access to the information and I'll look it up for you for free. But please do me a favor, friends, try to find the information on your own first, like we've outlined in this video, and then go ahead and contact me if you still need help. We can look up the vehicle with our many tools and give you that important information, as I said, for free. Well, Liz, we just produced another video that can be added to the THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session playlist, didn't we? Sure did. The playlist Kevin just mentioned, THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session, should be the first stop for anyone entering the car market. Tons of current information that you need to know is there if you hope to get a good car deal. So check out the playlist and then could I ask you to do us another favor? If you're on Facebook, could you visit our page, leave us a comment and a review and share what you've learned from the Homework Guide channel over the years. Also stop by our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Tons of free tools are there for car buyers right now and there are improvements being added daily. The free car buyers guide is there along with so much more, you'll just have to go check it out. Nobody does more to help and protect car buyers than we do, nobody. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey for us folks. By the way, we've got some freshly designed merch on our merchandise shelf down below the video. If you wanna support our channel and help get the message out to others, check out the new merch and then get yourself suited up. And if you'd like to show some gratitude for producing great videos like this one, the links for tips appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box below. PayPal, Cash App, and of course Venmo. To respond to anyone wondering why we chose to offer the tip system, I can tell you that the idea came directly from our viewing audience. Generous people asked for a way to donate to support our efforts. We offered PayPal at first, and then other viewers suggested that we also add the Cash App and Venmo because they are popular forms of payment. We have learned to like it because your voluntary tips do provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. And even better yet, we have been converting your tips into more free services for our viewers. But no problem if a tip isn't an option for you. Show your thanks by recommending our videos to your friends and family. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. And that has been going extremely well. Any viewer who has contacted us would tell you that you don't need to blow your hard-earned cash on a paid membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be in touch with you. By the way, there's no problem with you contacting us months before you're going to buy. We can make you almost bulletproof in that time frame. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guide channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.